sector has been consistent for many number of, of months. Uh, so again, we have to make a judgment about what do, how do we get growth with jobs? That's where the real revenue comes from. You don't get it by cutting down your seed corn, cutting in education, cutting back on uh, investments in science and National Institutes of Health, food safety, you name it. So it, it isn't as much a spending problem as it is a priorities. Uh, and that's what a budget is, setting priorities. But you talk about growth. Uh, even Christina Romer, the former head of the Council of Economic Advisors for the President, says you increase taxes, that also hurts growth. Well, it, it's about timing. It's about timing, and it's about timing as to when you make cuts as well. Uh, we, but you, could you, the, the fiscal cliff, you raised taxes, $650 billion right away. Yeah, and that was a very good thing to do on people making uh, over uh, the high end uh, in our um, um, population. So he, here's the thing, though. We are here to have a budget that has revenue coming in, that has investments made into the future. Uh, we also want to make decisions in those two areas where growth with jobs are created because more jobs, more revenue coming in. Nothing brings more money to the Treasury of the United States than investment in education of the American people. So we have to recognize that. Uh, what cut, which cuts really help us and which cuts hurt our future? and cuts in education, scientific research, and the rest are harmful, and they are what are affected uh, by the sequestration. So it, it is uh, almost a false argument to say we have a spending problem. We have a budget deficit problem that we have to address. Right now, we have low interest uh, on the uh, national debt, and it's a good time for us to act to lower that deficit. 